Welcome back to the Foot Daily Update, guys. My name is John, and you guys need to make sure you guys check out all our tutorials on how to make coins. But let me tell you guys, is the market rising? What should you do? Should you sell now? Should you hold? What should you do? We're going to get right into that. Guys, we cover the entire market every single day. So if you're brand new, make sure you guys understand that there are method tradings up to a million. And once you go from a million, guys, and we go from 1 million to 5 million, 5 million to 10, 10 to 20, it's all about the Foot Daily Update and sticking with us every single day because we bring you guys the new content every single day. So, like, right now, this is what's popular. We have a new Kia uh, uh, SBC, Kent, Kare, Kare. Um, looks like Jerome Boateng, um, or what's his name, uh, the other Boateng, but, uh, absolutely not a bad card, uh, it's one of those position, out of position ones, uh, which is interesting, 78 plus player picks, so if you guys, uh, bid battles, gold commons are gonna do great, and then some of this peak stuff, uh, if you guys are trying to find stuff unique, these are, these probably are gonna pop a little bit, so, uh, look for these SBCs for the next couple days to come out and push, so, what I want to talk about, guys, is basic the the Johnson. I call it the Johnson's buy cycle, right? Because we basically have broken the game down and put together a cycle of these video of when you guys should be buying, when you should be selling. A lot of people already know this, but basically, guys, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, market rises. Then uh, Thursday we get rewards. Friday we get weekly rewards. Saturday, Sunday, and so it kind of goes down, then up, then down, then up, right? And typically promos and all this type of stuff. I do have a full video on when you guys should invest in trade and all that type of stuff. So I definitely recommend you guys check out that video on when to invest on the how to make a million playlist. Definitely recommend that because this is what we're going to be talking about. But right now, guys, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what type of SBCs do we have leaving right now? um this would give us the demand oh whoa only one that's not much demand leaving so we are not much demand leaving so we have demand staying and we do not have supply so if you guys do basic market equilibrium market economics nothing leaving nothing going oh it's gonna go up so we guys we are rising right now and how long uh are we able to hold on to stuff well, from now, at least until the next, uh, so you have about 48 hours because I was in, so that's going to hit you about 48 hours. So it, it's right now, it is, what is it, Monday? So you have all the way through Wednesday to, to buy and flip. So if you guys are going to be trying to buy, today is going to be a better day than tomorrow, and tomorrow is going to be better than Wednesday, but technically today is going to be best, is going to be best. So if you guys are investing into gold cards, into all that type of stuff, Let's go ahead and check out some of this, uh, some, some where this market is and try to get you guys 100% safe trades. Let's try to find them. Let's find them. Let's find them, lads. Let's find them. All right, 1.2K. Look at that. Beautiful. If you guys know how to do my 83 method, push it on the 82 and 83s. This is great. 83s were like 1.5 yesterday, guys. We, we made, we, I'm, I think we made a call on the foot daily update uh saying that that was uh, extremely cheap for them right now especially where the market's been 85s down at four uh, at 14.5 is pulling up so they're at 13.5 um when when they're about 14.5 guys i just don't like that market price but 86 is at 17k is where the 89s at 38 this is all coming down quite a bit so uh 80 if you look at this, what are you most likely going to buy? You know what I mean? Like the 80, just check the average price of where these have been uh, given the given the course of the market. And so you see they've been floating around up past 18 for the majority of the time. So they're right around 17,000. So you guys can take these off about 5%, at least 10% during bid battles. Try to get these for around 16K, guys. I think you guys are floating pretty good. Maybe they go down to 15K, uh, but not through this week, guys. I would be trying to get in on uh, 86s today and see what happens. And maybe they go up to 19. Uh, maybe they hit that uh, 21K peak uh, because we have a limited amount of supply and uh, demand is not coming out of the market while uh, we have a, sh a shrinkage of supply. So I love 86s uh, like this and Mindy. Uh, both both very good options and stuff like that so i like 86s 80 the 85 market i i'm not i'm not too set on just yet oh e yo i'm sorry guys um i'm not too that's not that's not necessarily 100 but it's pretty dang near it uh but 89s as well guys Thirty eight thousand. these guys have been you know crazy 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 kane's a little bit of one of those weird ones that went fly high because he was out of packs during a weird time but guys 38k again for like 36 or so look at this boom 44k right so 38k buying for 36 you'll see him pull up uh 
hopefully to that 40k at some point if they come down yes they will go down to about 31 uh but we're right around here 37 so uh i think you guys can get him for about 36 on bid battles it wouldn't surprise me whatsoever let's go ahead and check out the full meta market and we're going to be talking about rttfs and the foot fantasy upgrade the meta market update time all right so captain via 44,000, right uh as you guys know he's been a flux trade we kind of called this he actually made a short video on it today but uh then nothing's really moving too much guys right now is actually like the cheaper part of the week for these uh these cards probably most likely uh just uh so we're just pushed right through that informs we're not going to do the inform uh, little graphic we're just going to push through because i want to get this through guys i'm actually super super busy today so i i need to get this through uh 15 85 is already back up to 15k 84s guys i'd be going in that's 100 percent safe um 86 is guys almost all this is actually doing really well so uh i would be going back you know, oh 88s have dropped back down to that 29k guys easy they go up to like 36 pretty consistently uh so this is this is something that you guys should be con strongly considering uh, about five ten percent off on that market again and going in on that type of stuff guys so here here let's uh let's let's go ahead and just break it down really quick so i don't waste your time rttfs what should you be doing uh guys it's the sixth there is a round tomorrow that plays selling the hype about four hours prior to the game is typically around the peak price now it will get or when it's safe at the four hours prior guys it then it, like the closer you get to the game it gets volatile because what happens is this thing called the paradox of predictability what is the paradox of predictability i talk about it all the time when everybody knows to do the same thing something then the inverse relation occurs to everybody knowing it so what does that essentially mean if everybody says sell in the hype and we all become more knowledgeable on selling in the hype what do you think the community ends up doing we all sell prior to the hype what happens when we sell prior to the hype then there might be a small pull down prior to the game and then there's fear and then people drop right and so if you guys really want to time this you guys could you guys got on really early and you got in a couple like a week ago when we were talking about a week and a half ago when we started saying yo we should be buying now and when i was like buy now that's because that's essentially what's happened anyways what I want to say, guys, is if you sell four or five hours prior to the match, is that that's going to be safest? Is that going to be the peak? No. Do you want to time the peak? Technically, yes, you do. But the thing about it is it's so hard to time the peak. You want to time the way up. It's always safer to set to, to sell on the way up than the way down. Remember, if you start selling on the way down, guys, it's, just, it's a steep slope down. Just <laughs> think about climbing a mountain. Is it... <laughs> think about climbing. how fast can you just fall down a mountain you can fall down a mountain pretty dang quick if it's at the steeper the slope right and so just imagine uh just imagine that as how fast it can drop and so what happens is if you put your card on the market and the market's pulling down people aren't buying it's about the demand of what the community sees so remember always sell in hype always sell in hype always sell in hype selling the hype selling the hype selling the hype but buy the fear, sell the hype. Buy the fear, sell the hype. So we, uh, trade strategy you guys could do is sell three, three, four hours prior to match. Then you're going to see a sell off most likely because of people selling in the high or selling in the hype that creates a paradox predictability. But you guys are, <laughs> you guys are predicting the pre, uh, the paradox of predictability. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so you guys predict that people are going to sell in the hype. So you're selling on the hype before the hype. <laughs> and then and then basically you're buying you're buying that dip and then you take some risk in the game if you guys want to have fun taking risks you guys are gonna watch the game anyways like sell prior buy down so like maybe you get like a 10 20 20 percent cheaper and then in the game it, that pulls back up as the game continues you might see something like that with these forest bird cards in a week but guys remember there's a round uh tomorrow and then there's like you europa league uh, or uh, like the atal nice those type of cards start uh play uh on the ninth so the match day is super super important but remember guys sell in the hype but okay foot fantasy foot fantasy foot fantasy before we get to foot fantasy upgrades let's talk to the youtube top comment been refreshing my uh youtube since yesterday why did you do that like us i'm sorry i didn't mean to guys uh two days ago i oh, on saturday guys i was super super busy i ended up uh I wasn't even home all day. I, I was gone for about 14 hours uh, on uh, Saturday. So 
I apologize, guys. Uh, that was the first video I think I've missed in like almost two months. So that was like 60 days straight of the foot daily update. So um, I apologize. If you guys do not... So typically my, my, uh, my schedule is... I try to get it out by 7.15 p.m. UK. I try to get thumbnail. I try to get everything done by 7 p.m. UK, one hour after content. And then, boom, we're out at 7.15 p.m. and launch. If I do not have it launched by 7.30, there's a chance that it may not come. Just uh, just be aware. So uh, just ding the bell to get notified when that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Ding, ding that bell, you know what I'm saying? Ding, ding it dang it to, to get notified when it comes out so uh foot fantasy though okay so basically guys we are starting that peak where what's gonna happen is it, it was like that slope down so it was like a oh look at that terrible hole there slope down right we have a slope down and then what's gonna happen is it's gonna come up a little bit and then down again on thursday so uh i can't guarantee if like today yesterday is going to be lower than thursday but typically it's like five percent lower on thursdays typically on how these promo runs but given where the market velocity is tomorrow is the seventh i could see people selling off tomorrow and then th investing into foot fantasies on thursday so be aware of that that the velocity of the investments of the round one could go straight into foot upgrades it will either go into foot upgrades or RTTFs uh, on the 14th for one week trade. Uh, I would see more experienced traders try to go in on uh, the RTTFs for team two. And the reason why is because if you go in on the RTTFs on team two, you get a, you get a one week return and then you can go in on team two, the foot fantasy upgrades and go for that. And so, um, yeah but but guys basically what's going to happen is there's going to be a market pull up and there's going to be a moment where it's just going to be flat and then once those games kind of end you'll see it will that's when it'll start to jump because the velocity of the coins imagine like putting like three different coin piles out there and then all the coins are in one right and then uh, you're like well i don't want to play i don't want i don't want i'm going to take all these coins and i have to put them in these two you see what I'm saying? It pulls them up. And so that's kind of the concept. I think the team one is going to be, or the RTTFs, their first team is going to be out. Uh, people are going to sell off. They're going to put into these. And so you'll see a big drop. So that's why I anticipate. It depends on how much they hold their value and how the community deems it. But that's kind of my prediction. I hope this helps, guys. Uh, remember, if you buy right, you never lose. And when you buy with John, you always win. Right now, you guys, you have pretty safe, safe bet to buy almost anything for the next... Uh, 48 hours and it will go up uh method trade method trade method trade uh get in i would try to get on those gold 86s if you guys uh, are brand new but don't forget guys uh to definitely uh don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed uh you guys get uh you guys get my calls and you guys get i i, I update you guys every day pre-content uh join the millionaires club it, uh, it's old i need to update this but but guys you guys can subscribe for free with amazon prime the twitch prime just link and integrate your uh uh twitch and discord together and you guys get that out and then you can or you guys can go through discord or youtube as well but um besides that guys check out if you guys are brand brand spanking new and you guys need help making your first million check out our tutorials on how to make super super easy coins every single day so until next time guys remember if you buy right you never lose when you buy with john you always win until next time i've said until next time about 100 times until next time until next time we'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching and uh good happy trading guys